皆さん、こんにちは。ニーサチャンネル、資格ハンター編です。最新の英語ニュースを読み上げますので、英語の試験勉強やスキルアップにご活用ください。Sudan Security Forces, Anti Government Protesters Clash. January 9th, 2022, 10.52 a.m. Update January 9th, 2022, 3.46 p.m. VOA News. Sudanese protesters walk past burning tires as they rally to protest against the October 2021 military coup in the capital Khartoum on January 9th, 2022. Sudanese security forces fired tear gas and stun grenades Sunday at thousands of protesters marching against the country's military rulers, with medics reporting that one demonstrator was killed. The protesters marched from Omdurman to Bari, two cities adjoining the capital Khartoum, chanting slogans assailing military leader Abdel Fattah al Burhan, who took power in an October 25 coup that upended a transitional power sharing deal with civilians. One man was killed after being hit in the neck by a tear gas canister, according to a Sudanese doctor's association aligned with the protest movement, although it did not say where the death took place. That raised the number of civilians killed by security forces to 62 since the coup, according to the doctors, who have also accused the military of repeatedly raiding medical facilities, treating injured protesters, and attacking staff. The military has justified the coup as a correction needed to stabilize the transition to elections from a power sharing arrangement the military and civilians struck following the toppling of former President Omar al Bashir in 2019. It has said that peaceful protests are permitted and that those responsible for causing casualties will be held accountable. The United Nations said on Saturday it would attempt to resolve the crisis, inviting military leaders. Political parties and other groups to take part in talks. On January 2, Prime Minister Abdallah Hamdok resigned, citing a failure to reach a compromise between the generals and the country's pro democracy movement. He was ousted in the coup but reinstated a month later following a deal with the military that was meant to calm tensions and anti coup demonstrations. Some material in this report came from the Associated Press and Reuters. 以上で、今回のミーサチャンネルは終了です。最後までご視聴いただきまして、ありがとうございました。よろしければ、高評価とチャンネル登録をよろしくお願いします。